just a few minutes too late it's closed it closes at nine and now it's just after nine o'clock the supermarket at the train station is at the basement huge pity after nine most places close so i decide to walk in here this is a bistro that I came once before Euro for a salad? Sounds more expensive than the restaurant. In that restaurant was six euro. The one in this afternoon. Piece of pizza is about seven fifty sandwich. So seven fifty six ninety. I don't want this stuff. Is that pasta? Close already. So sad. There is but close already. The time of the day. First of all, she put the sauce, then she put about one and a half to two tablespoons of olive oil and she let it heat up in her pan. Separately, she's boiling the spaghetti there. Then she throw in the pasta. Then she just cook it now. Seems no skill required. Cheese? Now my experience is this. When I ordered the pasta, she has to cook, right? So I went to get myself a coffee. And after paying for the coffee, I went back to the pasta, paid for the pasta. Returning to the coffee counter, I started to get ready, but no, because I wasn't there, they didn't make it. So I have to wait all over again, and then now I think my pasta is not so hot anymore, even if it's not cold. Then, it's so light, so light. That means there's very, very little coffee inside, even though I ordered cappuccino. It is already not a regular cafe, it's cappuccino. Also, in this pouch, originally, it's only a fork and a knife. I mentioned in another video that Italians eat pasta with fork and knife. Whereas I'm used to being trained with eating with fork and spoon, where I twirl my noodles in on the spoon. So I need a spoon to eat with it. So that is another word to learn, which is what spoon is called. And this is a very difficult word for me. I can never remember the word for spoon. So finally, luckily, this lady is smart enough. When I show her fork, knife, and then I said, this one, this one, spoon, soup. I said, soup, then she got it, ah, oh, okay. So, buona patenta. <laughs>